The electrical in this building is absolutely terrible. The new building, we have an electrician that is putting in just amazing array of electrical over there. Three phase, 240, 120s, everything's gonna be split onto different breakers, which is amazing. And this place, literally, everything on this side of the wall is on one breaker. And then everything on this side of the wall is on one breaker. It is absolutely ridiculous. And so we were running our brand new, um, this thing was manufactured in 2020, our drying cabinet yesterday and got a power surge whenever I was doing some pressure washing as well on top of that, I just could not handle that. So um, it burned out our relay apparently. Um, we called Workhorse to talk to them about it. And you can see right here, we have the temperature set to 95, um, but it's only 76 degrees and this has been running literally all night. So what that means is um, we thought we were gonna be screen printing yesterday, but our emulsion was taking so long to dry because there's no heat involved that that, that just wasn't a possibility. So, um, and there was a lot of drying that had to happen yesterday because I washed out a bunch of emulsion that messed up. I was gonna re, um, redo the screens. So anyways, uh, once you clean the screens, they're wet, so you gotta dry before you can reapply emulsion before that can dry. So what I did, I came in at eight o'clock last night. Um, we had a whole bunch of screens that were drying from water. Then I came over here, I got emulsion on it. So we have, I think eight screens in there that are ready to go this morning that we can burn. So we're gonna do some burning today and hopefully we're gonna actually do, do some screen printing. Okay, the part came in for us to fix the relay, replace the relay on the workhorse drying cabinet. They said the easiest way to access it is if you take the top off the cabinet, which is what we've done. That's the top down there. There's a bunch of screws going around the side of this thing, but there are also screws on the inside going up that you have to take out as well. Here's the new relay and the old one is right there. So we just gotta take out a screw here and a screw on this side and should be good to go. I don't know if it's the relay guys, the temperature has actually dropped since I've, one degree since I turned it on. It's not the relay, I wonder if it's like a motor or something. All right, happy Friday, guys. Um, yesterday we were working on this drying cabinet issue. This is not heating up. And <clears throat> in the meantime, our it was really hard for us to dry our screens yesterday. We ended up buying a hair dryer and putting it into the old one, and that actually worked pretty good. Um, but we were a li little late to the game with that. Workhorse, the company that makes this cat drying cabinet, overnighted a relay to us, and I got that put in yesterday, but that did not solve our issue. And we realized it's working, it's blowing air, but it's just blowing cold air. The, the heat was not going up. So we've taken out the heater. This is a little heating element that they have inside the unit. Um, workhorse is overnighting one to us. So hopefully that will get here today. We can get this installed and go from there. So we'll see. Um, hopefully we don't have a short anywhere. Uh, we did replace a fuse and the fuse immediately got blown the moment we put it in there. So, and that fuse, the only thing it's really hooked up to is this heating element right here. So, seems like the logical thing that this is the, the root of our issues. We shall see. All right, got the new heat element in, showed up. So just getting it 
reinstalled here. Let's see if the temperature increases. 73 degrees. <gasps> 74. It's been an extracurricular kind of day, guys. You know, I fixed the drying cabinet. That's fantastic. But you know, I spent my morning fixing a drying cabinet, fixing equipment. So I'm not doing invoices. I'm not doing estimates. I'm not doing print jobs and getting stuff out the door and client communication and all those things. I hate that. Then we have a job. We're sublimating 25 uniforms for our local track team. And they look really cool. Um, but we have run out of paper, sublimation paper, which means I had to make a two hour trip to go down to Conway, South Carolina, where my sign supplier is, pick up some sublimation paper. I picked up three rolls of sublimation paper so that we don't run out again. And that way we could get this job done. This job already, just the amount of hours that my team has put into this job, I'm like, dang gum it. Like we, we're not making the target amount of money that we really need for this, you know? Um, we didn't charge enough. We clearly did not charge enough for a fully sublimated shirt front and back. That's evident. Then on top of that, when you run out of something on the job, now my time is even further taken away by that. So that freaking sucks. It's an extracurricular kind of day. Anyways, it is a beautiful day. It's freaking Friday, y'all. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Um, subscribers are really starting to roll in. I have more subscribers than I have videos now. How, holy cow, that is so exciting. Dang. But thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. And uh, stay tuned. I know we've been a little bit screen print heavy lately, but we have plenty of printing uh, I got a new digital press that's on the way. Um, plenty of signed stuff on the way that's still happening. So I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. Bye.